it's John Mike from DashShoes.com. We have a hop variety to uh, oh, learn and explore. This is part of the Smash Beer series that we do here on the Old Home Brewing YouTube channel. And this time around, it's Mistral hops. And if you want to sound like a real American, Mistral, Mistral hops. <laughs> I don't know, Mistral, Mistral hops. They're from France. Um, and I think these are one of maybe three or four French varieties that I bought <laughs> all in one big lot, probably early last year, um, maybe mid, mid, uh, midway last year. Um, but I, now I know I'm at the end of uh, my, hey, these are all hop varieties I've never had before um, segment of, of my refrigerator. <laughs> It's all done, so I got to go find, you know, maybe five or six more varieties to stock up on and, and then plan out videos for the next, you know, 12 to 18 months. So Mistral hops, same uh, format as we typically brew. Uh, this is a one gallon size, U.S. gallon size batch, um, two gallons of water that's heated up and we mash at 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 66 degrees Celsius for an hour. It's uh, two pounds of um, U.S. Uh, two-row pale malt. Um, I believe this is Great Western. And then uh, I take uh, an ounce of hops or 28 grams and break that up across the, uh, the brewing process. This has a charge at, um, I believe I put this in um, like seven grams at 15 minutes to go in the boil. Another 15 grams go in right at flame out, and then I save another seven grams at uh, day three of fermentation. Uh, fermentation lasts 10 days, I keg it up, and then I bring it over here to Mike to taste and learn more about this particular hop variety, in this case, Mistral hop. So I'll let him talk about what he's uh, perceiving from this particular beer. Uh, my first impression of the aroma of this, it's, um, it's moderate, I wouldn't say it's strong uh, mm -hmm. moderate strong it's it's right in the middle uh, it's noticeable but it's not like overpowering what i get is sort of like a um to me it seems like it's it seems it, it 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 reminds me actually a little bit of mosaic hmm. but with a um an herbal earthy undertone to it there's a little bit of like a um, maybe even, maybe not so much earthy, uh, uh, herbal as much as like, there's like a spice component to it, okay. uh, underneath there. And then I think the flavor is the same way. There's a very subtle, mild fruit, tropical type of thing trying to push through there, but there is a, a nice, to me, like a spice hop finish. I don't get like a grapefruit or a citrus pithy thing at all in there. Um, it is definitely on the fruitier side, maybe even, there might even be like a sort of like vanilla type component to it, mm. but it's, to me, I'm getting really more of that, um, spicy, almost noble hop type quality. Um, but layered in with like a mosaic, right? Yeah. Uh, if you were to brew a beer with mosaic and use a little tetanang or something, that's sort of what I'm what, getting. What you're getting? What I'm getting at is, that's a good it's one. pleasant. The flavor is prominent, not overpowering as well. And the bitterness is mild, yeah, um, mild, smooth, clean, relatively clean bitterness. Uh, I like this hop uh, just as it is in a smash. This is a wonderful smash beer, which I think has enough complexity on its own. Although it might be really cool to layer this in with a couple of those um, hops that I always say are sort of like not standalones. I think some of those guys coming together in a in a in a complex would be pretty interesting. It would work well with this. Um, so I like it. It's a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of like a freeze-dried peach type of thing in there too, <laughs> yeah. but it's um, but that's the best way I can describe. It. It's like really like mosaic with a underpinning of like a spice quality to yeah. it. So the uh, right from uh, Yakima Valley hops, key flavors are just three: citrus, floral, and sweet fruit. Mm -hmm. I was getting more berry. Um, yeah. I'm looking at the old uh, spectrograph here. Um, <laughs> And uh, it's really like more, I don't know. It's like, like as you can see that uh, diagram, it's really yep. like indexing hard on citrus, sweet fruits yeah. and floral and yeah. like a little bit of red fruits, some, mm -hmm. you know, some uh, berried uh, in there. Um, but like, w like the sweet fruits to me, like that's when you bring out like the melon and all that stuff. Yeah. But, but 
I'm not really perceiving that here. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think maybe that that like berry fruit component is like that mosaic thing, right? Mo mosaics reported to be when you get the right lot and it's super yeah. fresh or whatnot. Mosaic supposedly has like that blueberry yeah, yeah. component to sure. it. Um, this certainly isn't blueberry, but it's you know, the fact that it, it it's hitting the mosaic neurons in my my <laughs> memory banks yeah. speaks to that berry fruit quality. Yep. Right. What do you, what do you think about the citrus quality of this? My very first whiff of it, and then it went away, so I didn't really add it in my first pass description. Uh, was gonna say something more like a mosaic with cascade in it. Hmm. So at the very first couple whiffs, I sort of was like. Oh, there's some cascade in there, but but it doesn't for, for me it doesn't follow through on the flavor. Yeah, no. Um, but there is a, you know, I could be convinced that it's citrusy, but it's not strong sisters. To me, nope. it's more fruit. It's yep. more fleshy fruit. It's more sweet fruit. That kind of um, thing. Yeah. Which is what to me that's what mosaic is too. Mm, true. And there's there's some floral components on the aroma. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to pick that up, but um, do you get what I'm picking up? Yeah, which yeah. is like a little bit more on that the zesty. Spicy, yeah. herbal side. I think like there's you, some, yes. something else in there that it's the tetanang plus yeah, yeah. Pink mosaic. I yeah. think that's a, that's an yeah. apt combo for this particular hop. Um, I think you're right. I mean, I I think that a lot of these French hops they they have kind of this you know oh wow this is an interesting flavor. Yeah. I don't think they're strong flavors. I don't. I think they're fairly mild in their presentation. Yeah. Um, we're talking alphas like uh, between you know five and uh, seven here, maybe five and eight. Okay. I should have brought in the packet. I don't. I think it was in the seven range, the the the, the ounce that I brewed with. Um, so they're not like I wouldn't say they're strong in terms of bitterness. You're, I think yep. they're right there. Like I think you need to like really, you know, um, up the amounts if you were trying to get see, a lot of like the hop bitterness yeah. pro profile. But who's doing that? No, not not I. Um, but in, in any case, I think that these, like, again, I think this is, since it's a mild one, a berry one, it's, it's like, it's like the, um, New England IPA that I put together. It's like, I had hops that I think fit a certain, um, you know, place on the chart, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, well, this is going to be my spicy component. Yeah. This one's going to be my more berry fruit. And this is going to be my more tropical and um, you know other like exotic flavors, and see how that all meshes together. Yeah, you know I think that's where I would play with Mistral is like this would be my, you know, sweet fruit berry yeah. um, component in a, yep. in a in a hopped beer that I wanted, you know, hop complexity for the the overall um, flavor of it and in the aroma as well. But I, I don't think this gives off a lot of aroma. You probably want other varieties that that bring that. This, I think, is one component of a fuller hop picture, if you think of it that way. I think that if you had, if you buy your hops in more than like one ounce at a time, like if you're buying some of that eight ounce packaging, which is out yep. there, which I love the eight ounce packaging. Um, if you, let's say you had a eight ounces of citra or mosaic or something like that, that really just wasn't delivering on classic citra mosaic, whatever. Okay. I think you could still get away using those hops and putting some of this in behind it and you would go, oh, there's the brightness that I'm looking for. Because yeah. some of those lots just over the last few years, uh, agriculturally, I don't know why, you know, um, you know, haven't lived up to the original hype of what they are said to be. Um, but this would, sir, I think, help support those yeah. and bring back in some of that quality. Yeah. Excellent. Um, cool. So Great one. This is, is a great one. This is just a great pale ale on its own. You I like think. it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I think this would be a nice, eh, now that the weather's getting warmer, I, I got to start thinking about these simpler beers with like just nice, nice fruit, fruit hoppy flavors. In a I've rose. said it before, but this in a, in a wheat beer, 50, 50 yeah. uh, pills or, or just standard American two row and wheat would be, would be Pretty good. really great. Soften it up with the wheat. That'd be really nice. Cool. All right, so that's our take on Mistral hops. If you've uh, brewed with these hops, let us know in the comments. Um, certainly, you know, we'd like to hear more about what you're thinking. And if you have suggestions for other hop varieties, I know I've got stuff on the list, but uh, I'll always take a fresh take if you want to throw a comment in. Um, there are some that, I've been, that people have been asking for and I just can't find. So, but if there's ones that uh, you've seen that are readily available, um, 
you know, let me know and I'll try to pick up a, an ounce or two. Um, uh, like this video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to our channel because we try to do this every single week. Stay tuned for next week. We're going to have a companion video to this. So, um, I love those videos. For John and Mike, brewdashuse.com, brew on. Cheers.